Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name's Nigel. This is part two of the how to create an image gallery tutorial series. In part one, we learned how to pull down our entire Android Studio project from Git. In this part, we're going to be creating a dedicated folder just to ho host all the images we take with our camera application. Let's make a start, shall we? First thing I just want to do is to give a name to my file location. I'm going to save to. So that's going to be a string variable. And I'll call that um, uh, gallery location. And inside here, I'll just call this image gallery as the folder name. Okay, the next step here is I'm going to create a dedicated method to create that folder. So let me just create that method now. I'm going to put it above the create image file method. So I'm going to call it create image gallery. Okay, first thing I need to do is I'm going to grab this line here, which is a storage directory. I'm going to use that to create my directory. So I can delete it from here and paste it into here. Okay, the next step here is I need to create a file that's accessible from the methods in the directory. So I'm going to go back up here and create a dedicated file for my folder. Uh, let's call it Okay, now let's go back down into my function here. And I'm going to create that, I'm going to initialize that file from here. By creating a new file. Pass in the first argument as a storage directory. And the second one as the actual name of our folder that we created a string for. Let's go back up. I forgot what it's called. Gallery location. Okay, so we've now created a file to represent our folder. Um, from the file, we've actually got to create the directory itself. The first thing we need to do, do need to do, which is very good practice, we need to check if the folder is currently existing. So we do it like this, we get the um, file name and just check to see if it exists. So if it exists, we don't need to do anything, the folder's there, but if it doesn't exist, we need to create it. So if it doesn't exist, we go into this function, and we go mgallery folder dot, and then we call this make ders function. This will create the folder for us. The make ders will also create the parent folders if, if required, if they don't exist as well. So it's quite good for that. So that's the code for create our gallery and we'll initialize the, f um, yeah, we will initialize our folder, create the folder for that. Now the next step is here is we no longer have the storage directory to create the actual file itself. We're going to be creating the file inside 
the M gallery folder. So we need to replace storage directory with that new file. As such. Okay, there's just one more thing we need to actually call this function and we're going to call it from the on create. So basically when the application starts up, we're going to create this folder. So I'm just going to call it just in here. Oh, no, that's not this create. So create an image gallery. Before we start writing any files, we want that folder to be created. So that's what we've done here. So let's test it out, run out and see what happens. run that as usual I'm gonna record what's happening on the application application started up let's take a photo of a cup of coffee this time ran out of green tea So the image has been taken, that's fine, we, we knew that worked before from the previous application, but we want to check to see if that folder was created and the image is inside the folder. So I'm going to use another application called ES File Explorer. Now I know it's been created in pictures, oh. and inside here we have image gallery, got two of them actually, this is from my other application. So, and if we click on that view in there, we have the cup of green tea. So the main thing we wanted to test was if the image gallery folder was being created and, and it is. So we've now validated that that code works. So what we want to do, as with the previous tutorials, let's step through the code so we can actually see what's happening line by line. To do that, we set some breakpoints and run the debugger. So I created this line here. I'm not going to put a breakpoint here, but I'm going to go inside here, put a breakpoint here, and that's all I really want to do for this. I just want to prove that we're creating the folder. So I'll double check we've got no other breakpoints here. Okay, run the debugger. So we'll stop straight away. As we said, we want to create this folder straight away. So Okay, we're getting the environment directory pictures. We want to stick all our, we want to stick our folder our, inside the pictures main directory. Step down. Here we're creating our new file inside the folders directory. Now we're doing a check to see if our file actually exists. Why create something that already exists? And as you can see, it jumped out. So it already exists. We need to do no more. We're just doing a quick check. But if I deleted that folder, it would go in there and would create the directory. The rest of the application is just the standard camera application running. So we've all seen that from the camera intent tutorial series. And that, that's it for this tutorial. Um, main intention of this tutorial is creating a folder to house all our images inside for the uh, for the image gallery we wanted to put them all in one place and that's what we've succeeded in doing here so the next step is we're going to actually start preparing the code for our image gallery and that will be in for part three if you like my tutorials subscribe that's all for this one bye for now Android support v7 widget recycle view 
So you're just going to need to recycle view by itself. You have to enter this full name here. And again, with all views, we need the layout. Width. And I'm just going to wrap the content. You'll see while I'm doing that at the later stage. We'll do the same for height. 